Hi babies and welcome to the Revolution channel. My name is Carmen Mie and in today's video we are about to color correct. I'm gonna give you my tips, my little secret about color correcting and how to achieve your flawless skin. Now color correcting is something that can be a little bit confusing because uh, when you open a palette of color correcting there is so many colors and you just feel like which one should I use? Now I have a little secret because of course there is always a new product launching at Makeup Revolution and this one over here is a cushion and they are actually individual color correcting and I think they're absolutely beautiful because the thing is that most of the time we might only need like one or two colors we don't need like a full variety so having something this little to just pop in your handbag is everything like look at this you open it you have a cushion on one side the product is inside to get and achieve more products into the actual applicator you just have to like press it and and more product is coming out. I know, it's so sassy, I've been literally just like, all day. <laughs> so, what I'm gonna talk to you about is actually how to use each and individual one. Of course, I'm gonna give you a little demo onto my face. So we are gonna get a flawless beat. So, if you guys want to know how to achieve a flawless, a beautiful face using color correcting, please keep on watching. All right, babies, I'm gonna start by giving you the difference between two of my favorites. There is, of course, the peach one and the orange one. Again, they can be used together individually and it's all depending on your skin and what you're looking for now I personally under my eyes I don't really have that much of a discoloration so what I will need is something that counteracted but at the same time is not too rich so the peach one is actually perfection I know it's all P words but this is actually what I need when you, for example you have more of a blue undertone so you tend to have a little bit more of a stronger bag you will need an orange so orange is definitely much much stronger in pigment you guys probably already seen it from the swatches so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my peach, open it up, and I'm literally gonna start to dot it. And it's so simple because um, all you do is just dot. Next, I'm gonna show you how to use the green one. Now, the green is perfect for any redness. It really counteracts it beautifully. And my majority of redness, it tends to be around my nose, so over here, look how pretty. Then I have this ugly pimple, and also have this sunburn mark, so that looks absolutely stunning. And I got a new pimple here that I definitely don't want to have. So again, the green one is perfect for any redness. I don't, like, I don't have much redness everywhere else, so again, this is perfect if you want to really concentrate in some areas. So yeah, so this is one. And then lastly, we have the difference between the light and the banana one. Now the main difference, I personally believe that is actually depending on your skin tone. So the light one is definitely very good for brightening, but you will probably use it if you're more of a, like a light to medium skin tone, when the banana one is more if you're like medium to more of a deeper skin tone. I personally, I'm literally in between. You guys know sometimes I go a bit more light, sometimes I got a little bit more warmer. I personally tend to really like to look definitely glowing. Uh, today I'm actually gonna go in with banana and what I'm gonna do, I literally, I'm just gonna put it underneath here and just help myself to get a little bit more warmer. Again, it's definitely gonna brighten up and that's what I need. And again, I love how you just like dot things around. But you know what? Actually, let me do the light one so you can see the difference. And I'm gonna put this one at the center of my brow. So you definitely get to see how this one is lighter and a little bit under my nose. Now this one is not uh, con like it's not cream contouring. So we're not cream contouring. We just like brighten it up because laughter, the way we're gonna blend and everything, we are gonna move in with our foundation and everything is gonna look so beautiful. So before we put foundation, my biggest tip is actually blend it. Use a damp sponge. I like the soft one to just like taking your time and just like blend in. If you go straight away with your foundation at this point, it's just gonna mix it all together it can be absolutely a mess and then you just feel like you just don't like it so the best thing to do is get rid of the excess and blend absolutely everything Alright, 
actually be so as you can see after we actually blended everything I feel good I feel very comfortable with my skin right now I know I'm kind of different colors but let me tell you the brightness is there the redness is gone also like the discoloration under my eyes is completely covered I feel good so I guess the last step that we have is foundation and you guys know you probably have heard me talking about so many times the fast base foundation is literally my only grill foundation right now I love it so much and the shade F8 is the one that I go to and conceal the fine in C7 to just like brighten up the under eyes so let me do this too real quick I'm gonna do my lips I'm gonna finish up my skin and then we get to see am I looking flawless am I looking super flawless So here we have baby. So this is the final result. My skin is looking absolutely beautiful. Like I can't see any more redness. There is enough brightening, and also the bags are gone. Like the bags, bye bye bye. <laughs> Overall, I feel like this is absolutely a glorious skin day. And before I go, I do want to say what's on my lips because I know you guys probably want to know. And is one of the nudes lipstick. It is on display. It's literally my must-have. Like I've been wearing it so much, and I really love the way it looks so I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video make sure that if you guys like the CC cushion go and check them out at revolutionbeauty.com yes that is the new name of the website so I cannot wait for you guys to go and shop go and have a click have a look it will be listed down into the description if it makes it easier for you so thank you so much one more time and make sure that if you like me and if you like makeup revolution give us a good thumbs up stay subscribe leave us comment down below and of course course, make sure to remember, like if you like, hate if you hate, and until next time, you're welcome.